Uh, it's uh, really exciting to be here today. And I, I just wanted to start off the session actually by first asking, by show of hands, um, how many of you have participated in a civic hackathon? Um, that's a lot of hands. So basically, I, I wanted to start off by uh, sharing what my first civic hackathon experience is like. Um, if you go back uh, in your, you know, to that day, to that weekend, and you remember the energy that you felt, um, if you're a software developer, the energy that you were bringing, the curiosity that you had for the different projects you'd be working on, from the government perspective, the what in the world are we doing? This is kind of cool and very different, but it's something that we're committed to as government. And for me, it was in 2012. Um, I was mayor of Palo Alto at that point. And we reached out, and these are the three Stanford students that we held our first project with. Um, we shared with them GIS layers, and we asked them to create a, basically a product that helped us to explain pavement condition index. Um, by show of hands, how many people have heard of pavement condition index? I love it. There's so many government geeks here. <laughs> It is one of the most opaque uh, you know, ind ind indices that we have within government. It's a score of 0 to 100, tells you the rating of the, the street, and when you tell someone uh, the city council in Palo Alto adopted this policy, no street below 60 and an average of 80. And when you go out and share that great news with the public, uh, you get blank stares in response. And they're like, does an 80 still have a pothole? Does an 80 still not have a pothole? So the Stanford students created something called uh, Street Sweeper, where it was really this visualization with Google Maps to then plug in your address, and you were able to actually see then the uh, geocoordinates uh, for a particular uh, street to see what that pavement condition index score was like. Uh, so it was a, a whole new way for people to understand this really wonky area of infrastructure. So all that really got jump-started through this weekend hackathon. It was 24 hours. Uh, then how many of you remember what Monday was like after a Civic Hackathon? <laughs> by, by that, I mean there was a problem. We didn't have a home for this innovation to go to. We didn't know how to bring that home to City Hall with us. So what we wrestled with was this model. We're in one city. We're trying to develop something that's interesting. We want to scale out to a whole bunch of other cities, but we didn't yet know where, where everything was going to reside and have a sustainability plan. So one city. We didn't know how to scale, and we didn't know what happened after Monday. And what was terrifying for us was, does this mean that software developers will stop working with us within local government? Uh, if so, we've really got to figure out a different way to approach this. So what do we do? There were multiple cities that shared this perspective, that said, this is not the way that we can be most supportive of this incredible subset of our community, these software developers that are knocking on our doors that we as cities don't know yet how to answer that door. And so four cities partnered up. We moved and implemented different practices, a low dollar procurement, a startup accelerator, and we wanted to figure out how best we could scale and enable sustainability. So the four cities that partnered were the city of Boston. We had the Boston office of New Urban Mechanics, Chris, Nigel, and Michael. Um, we had, uh, I participated from Nashville. Uh, Jonathan Reichenthal, the chief information officer from Palo Alto, and Jason Hare, the Raleigh Open Data Manager. We also had some great partners along the way, too. Code for America that issued this call for focusing on procurement. Uh, Jumpstart Foundry, which was our Nashville-based uh, tech startup accelerator, that saved a spot for a company that we, as four cities, would select. And lastly, Socrata, that uh, was our thought partner along the entire way. Our procurement strategy was uh, really driven by a web base. Uh, we, we broadcast an opportunity to submit ideas through three different innovation tracks, um, analytics, community development, and uh, kind of uh, civic engagement. And we ultimately received 25 different applications, we picked six finalists using a rubric for us to review exactly how this idea would resonate in all four of the cities. We picked one winner, and what we guaranteed that winner was $5,000 from each city, so we created a pool of $20,000. What happened? Three out of the six now are moving forward from the finalist group. Uh, there was an ADA-focused app called Enabled City that's built on a Yelp platform uh, that's moving forward with new technologies. Uh, it was a winning app, but one lesson learned was that the technology didn't uh, fit, and we had a plus or minus kind of five-inch error for an ADA app, and that was a breaker. So we have an indoor wayfinding app that uses beacons now that we're rolling out. 
One company uh, in the 16th largest convention center in Nashville. Final was the Startup Accelerator. Uh, we had a company that went through and actually received now $40,000 in seed funding. For what's next, we are looking to partner with more cities. So for all the cities who are here, we're looking to do a 20, 2015 multi-city innovation campaign and are asking cities several things. Would you put up $5,000? Would you commit a staff member to work together on this so that we can begin creating companies that can then feed into what Ron is focused on, which are these civic tech startups that then can impact a lot of our communities. Jumpstart Foundry has held another spot, and what we're looking forward to is talking with Y Combinator, uh, which is based in Mountain View, which has recently just issued a call for government-focused startups. If you're interested in getting involved, uh, we'll have a panel discussion after this, but I would love to share more details with anyone from cities or from the software developer community on what we try to do across these four cities. Thank you.